<laughs> okay. So there's a there's a test that people use for differentiating between hip flexors and finding if they're stiff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you that, but it lies to you a lot. Okay. So let's start over here. I want I want like half thigh on the edge of the table. Perfect. Now lay back, grab your knees to your chest. Let your head relax back, let this leg fall down. Just like this. Oh, shocker. Okay. So, this is my test. This is called the Thomas test. So I fix the sacrum to the table by pushing, keeping this leg up, and then I let this leg come into hip extension to see how much you can extend. Right, I've done this before. And, yeah, I know. And it looks like you've got full hip extension. I would also differentiate, if maybe you were stopped up here, I would straighten your leg out, and if it comes down more, then that shortens rectus femoris, so it takes rectus femoris out of it, and that's what would tell me that psoas is stiff. Okay, other side, plop, same thing, still okay, all right, sit up. So if I look at that test for you, it looks like you got full hip extension. The problem is that test doesn't take into account the position that your pelvis is in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when, when your pelvis is up and over like this, because you're really extended, you really like your back, because you lift heavy things. Okay, when you play sports. <laughs> With your back. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> so that puts the acetabulum, the hip socket, in a different position and it blocks the hip from being able to adduct. And if it can't adduct, it can't stay adducted while it extends. So what happens for you is you actually come out the front of your hip to get that extension. Because normally, if I have ligamentous integrity mm -hmm. of the anterior hip ligaments, those coupled with the bony block from the acetabular position will stop that hip extension. But what happens when they go you come out the front to get fake hip extension. That's why I was saying it looks like you have full hip extension. Yeah. And to see what position you're in. Like, so is that why it like pinches when I'm squatting? It's because it's unstable. Mm -hmm. If I don't have the front stability, it's just less stable. The, the back can get tightened, um, especially if you layer it with use and use and use on top of all that mm -hmm. dysfunction you've got. Yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding, but not really. Lay on your right side for me. So, to see what position you're in, scoop back to me. There you go, bend your knees up here. I just want to see my first question can you add up? Okay. Uh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, relax. There we go. Back and you extend it, and then you drop it down. And so it looks like turn to the mirror so you can see that. So it looks like he can drop it down, but what's happened is I can't hold his pelvis up like this. I almost broke my toe trying to do it. <laughs> okay, so positive cannot add up. The thing that is adducting him is his back. Okay, flip over for him. So now I know that that left hip extension was fake. Now I know he has pathology in the front of your left hip. Okay? And it's going to be harder for you to get into that hip, into the backyard of that hip. Let this fall down. And then again, so if I let this go, this hand has to go. Again, he can't adduct. His back can adduct, because you use your back for everything, right? Yeah, with 